Heading back to the moon. That's our text donation. I'm Fred Fishkin. NASA has at long last launched the Artemis One, and joining us from NASA is Chief Scientist and Senior Climate Advisor, Kate Calvin. Hi, Kate. Hi. Good morning. Good morning. Well, this was a spectacular early morning launch at 1.47 a.m. A lot of uh, bleary eyes, I suppose, this morning. Tell us uh, about this launch and what the experience was like. So this is Artemis 1. So it's the first in a series of missions to explore the moon in preparation for missions to Mars. Artemis 1 is an uncrewed test flight. So we're testing the SLS rocket and the Orion spacecraft. And very early this morning, we got to watch it launch. Um, and if you've ever been to a launch, you just don't, you don't just watch, you hear and you feel the launch. What are some of the differences uh, between Artemis and the Apollo missions that uh, I kind of grew up with that, that first took us to the moon? So for Apollo, our goal was really to get to the moon. And while we were there, we did bring back some um, some lunar rock samples. Um, and we've learned a lot about the moon and the formation of the Earth moon um, system from those rocks. We've also learned a lot since then about the moon, but we have a lot of questions remaining. And so one of the differences with Artemis is we're using a combination of human and robotic missions to explore the moon and to better uh, to get to do science there and better understand the formation of the Earth moon system. And part of that is going to a different part of the moon. So we're going to go to the South Pole, um, which has some permanently shadowed regions, and we're really interested in seeing what we can learn there. Well, tell us more about them, the, the, the whole Artemis program and what the timetable looks like for putting the first woman on the moon. So we are building our way up. It's a series of missions. Each one is increasingly complex. So this one was an uncrewed mission where we test the rocket and the spacecraft. Up next will be a crewed mission where we'll send um, astronauts to orbit the moon in Artemis II. And in Artemis III, we will land on the moon. Very exciting. So what are some of the things that excite you most here? I mean, you have a focus to a large extent in your work, I think, on climate. I am both interested in science and in climate. And so for me on the science side within Artemis One, we have a lot of secondary payloads that are science related. So we have a number of CubeSats as well as science experiments within the Orion spacecraft. And those are largely focused on radiation. So we're gonna learn more about radiation. As you move outside a low earth orbit, there's more radiation, which has impacts on crew and electronics. And a lot of the science that's done on Artemis One will help us with that. We also have some CubeSats that'll help us study the moon. Um, but throughout the Artemis program, we're developing technologies and innovations for long duration space flight that also have benefits here on earth. And I'm really excited about that. And so we are actually looking beyond the moon with Artemis, right? It is a series to prepare us for, for missions to Mars. So exciting. Where can people go to learn more about this flight as it progresses and the Artemis program? NASA.gov slash Artemis. Just terrific. Kate Calvin, thank you so much for spending time with us. Thank you.